Welcome to the final part of Mega Man X4. Jesus Christ. I think it's safe to say that uh, this has been a ride by Mega Man standards up to this point. Wait, Jesus right. Christ is coming to save this game? Yes. Yeah, he actually comes out from behind uh, Sigma. Wow. On the third day. It was we... Jesus all along. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what was the saying? It's boss rush time! Let's see what to do here. Oh, is this Sega to Sanchiro? I mean, I'm playing in oh, Saturn after all. <laughs> this ad campaign single handedly sold the Sega Saturn in, in Japan. It's really funny. Well, that knows how many kids would want to fuck but... around and have a Nintendo console. God forbid they get their ass kicked by Sega or something. I mean, the competition was not wasn't Nintendo; it was Sony. Sony, right? PlayStation. Yeah. PlayStation. PlayStation. <laughs> Good work, Zero. You're Sigma. So it was you. Oh, he's the Sith Lord. <laughs> Simply brilliant. You even defeated Colonel and Iris. You made me do it. No, you wanted to destroy them. Allow me to remind you that I was once the leader of the Maverick Hunters. All right, Sigma time for some gaslighter. big lore here. <laughs> oh, we're doing the thing? Oh, this is where Carrie finds out about the thing. Well, yes and no. Not everything is revealed here, just some parts are. If I can pay attention over your eyes, it's talking. My people being sacrificed. I might have to mute you all. <laughs> well, that's the end of the dialogue, actually. Okay. Not really. I didn't really catch anything that happened because you guys were talking. Oh, there's well, that's a, what there's the a thing in here that cool. wiped out somebody's unit. And wouldn't you know, that's the Maverick. Zero. A zero? Yeah. I called it. You called that Zero was once a Maverick? No, remember earlier? I was like, Zero's a Maverick. <laughs> I love actually, like, it's one of those things that needed to be there, but I love that they remembered that Zero had different shoulder pads in X, like, before he was killed the first time. Yeah. I knew it was going to be Zero. <laughs> I just didn't want to say it, except for I think I did briefly, but I didn't want to, like, hammer it home because sometimes I'm wrong and I don't want to look stupid. Well, <laughs> I remember you bought, because X3 just flat out said to achieve peace, X must destroy Zero, and I said, no, that's a mistranslation. Sigmar just flipped him like a fucking burger, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now here we go. Here's some bullshit that I think is weird. Flipped him like a pancake. So, Zero fucking, right, they're they're brawling. Cool-ass fight, right? It's actually really well choreographed. This is very well choreographed. For, like, for right? like, an animated cutscene in, like, an action game that, like, I'm surprised how much effort went into this. Yeah, here's, pretty good. Here's what confuses me. Sega pulls up the beam sig, right? Zero goes for a pipe. Now, how the fuck can a pipe clash with a beam sig? He's really strong. Oh, so <laughs> Strongest uh, pipe in the world. Well, without... Because if it's like a lightsaber, it's basically plasma can melt through anything. See, it cuts it there, so why did it do it? Whatever. That's a really fantastic question that I do not have an answer to. And oh, Sigma got his arm cut off. Because Zero punched him so hard in the arm, like Tien. When Nappa just punches his arm off. <laughs> All right, now fucking Zero's gonna wail on him. All right. Wait. Whoops. Here comes. Here comes the. Here comes the lore. No, nope, not yet. It, the big lore That's... isn't revealed in this cutscene. What do you mean? The, when his thing breaks? Oh. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean that part. Yeah. It breaks when it's actually Mega Man. <laughs> kidding. What's that W? Uh, it means Mega uh, Man. weapons offline. You're Wiley. all fucked up. <laughs> well, there she go. Carrie got it. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, that was a tough fight, actually. Yeah. It's Commander Sigma. Incredible. Now I'm certain there's no one who's a match for the commander. What? Has he come out Red torn to shit? <laughs> He's missing an arm. King. I wish to have that. In half of his face. Yeah. Commander, are you okay? 
Oh, are wait, you okay? Yeah, Zero healed by the... Was he the one that was healed from the Maverick virus that you were telling me about? So, so, here's the thing. When Zero came to, his uh, aggressive tendencies were gone, and he's the guy you see before you. Zero, you are a Maverick. What's your point? Are you that surprised? Ah, Zero. You are most impressive. Sigma, I will defeat you! I'll beat you. <laughs> yeah, also, fun fact, uh, that's how Sigma got the, the got the scars on his eyes, that uh, confrontation with Zero. Interesting. But didn't you say, but didn't we, didn't we say that Sigma was a Maverick? Is he actually not? So he was a Maverick. Maverick. He just, He's... but you have to remember, his origins were the leader of the Maverick Hunters. Are you ready for yes. your final But then I thought he went Maverick. He, he did. did, but he hadn't that gone was the Maverick past. yet. Yeah, that, was, that was the past. Yeah. That was a flashback okay. you saw. No, I mean, Sigma. I thought he he went Maverick and is still. He is, yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Just this making sure first I'm phase straight. is a fucking joke. No, as zero, this first phase is so. Nope, as X two. Oh, true, because it just. Rising up. fire goes straight up. But does Sigma not look like regular Sigma because he lost his body last time? Uh, nope. The Grim Reaper gimmick is just a gimmick. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. okay, darn. <laughs> it's funny. Though it is implied, actually, that, like, so, Sigma is gradually still being, a, like, is, like, he's, he's, seems to slowly, like, two? I've been waiting for you, Zero. It's time for us to settle this. So, like, phase two. Something I noticed is, so first off, this is one of the easiest Sigma fights in the series. Oh, 100%. Um, the, 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 the final phase has like a couple things that I don't like, particularly when I'm playing a zero. Yeah. But, um, like, and it's also worth noting, this is actually kind of like shown off in story where Sigma didn't like try to like corrupt the, uh, didn't try to corrupt the uh, Repli Force with the uh, Maverick virus or the Sigma virus variant. Um, he manipulated them into uh, starting this coup instead, which makes me wonder, like, if Sigma was not at full power in this game. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Laser eyes. Lies. 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 <laughs> tell me lies, tell me swimming <laughs> lies. Oh my gosh. The theme of Bethesda. Yep. Don't worry. Elder Scrolls 6 will bring him back. It has to. <laughs> If Halo Infinite was able to redeem 343 Industries, ES6 has to do it. Well, apparently best. Halo Infinite's story is still garbage, though. What? I, no, okay. Now, I'm not familiar with it, but I've heard that, like, once the final act comes up, the whole thing just kind of falls apart. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, okay. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Leading up to it, the game's fucking thing's great. But, yes, the once... Um, once they kind of retcon four and five a little bit, kind of like how Araki did with part one, it's like. Wait, Ugh. did Araki retcon part one? What do you mean? In Phantom Blood, Arena gets in the casket, right? Yeah. And Dio is on the ship with yeah. Jotaro. Yeah. But then, in part three, they pull up the casket that has Dio's body in it that Arena was supposed to have been saved on. Oh, that's probably just an Araki forgot moment. I forgot. Because he forgets all the time. Yeah, I, I only took one hit through both of those phases. Here we go. Ha ha ha! You're finished, Zero. Iris is waiting for you. Bro, dick move! You are finished. Unfortunately, he doesn't say my favorite line, which is, uh... Prepare to become space dust! Space dust! Yeah. Those Sigma heads that are appearing? Yes, they are. I call them the Sigma Holy. Rangers. And look, <laughs> this yeah, attack with Zero there. can go fuck itself. <laughs> oh, where it's sucking it in and yeah. Yeah, and he out. he uses it more than the one I can actually hit him with. Yeah. Like I think so I think that's Sigma just heads. shit RNG more than anything else though. Yeah, so Sigma has his face plastered everywhere. Especially like on the top drone, he has it like on the top of the visor, which I think looks really funny. Well that's actually face his face. It. That's actually his face, as you see in the cutscenes. Well, what um, about the thing below it? That looks like the... That's also a face, but, like, he, like, emotes and talks through that, as you can see in the cutscenes. Ah, true, true, true. Um, Does yeah. he do the end? Yeah. Uh, this is actually two boss fights in one, because the two different uh, Sigma heads have di separate life bars. 
As you can see, this guy's got a full one until I hit him, but... <laughs> That's a creepy Sigma head, oh my god. Yeah, it is. It's a little spooky. Prepare to become space dust. I have no choice. <laughs> oh, you're doing the general. I thought you were doing Kermit the Frog for a second. No, no, Prepare no. Prepare no. to become space dust. <laughs> Yeah, Stigma is just his little, General like, has finally made his move! <laughs> iterations look so twisted. But yeah, much like, like, Sigma's voice actor, much like Dr. Wily in Mega Man 8, Sigma's voice actor is actually trying. Yes. Right. Alright, now we, we didn't even get to hear him do the end. <laughs> yeah, it's almost as if, uh, it, 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 it's almost as if the, uh, the gunner form is actually just a fucking bitch. Yeah. Side. He's pretty easy to take out with both X and Zero, but especially with Zero. <laughs> rising upper, rising upper, rising upper. Ground yes, crush! Can. Ground crush. Uh, Me when I'm energy breaker. <laughs> energy breaker. <laughs> Gabe, you're gonna knock your power out again. <laughs> you're right, I gotta stop. So that was your fault that you had a power outage. Yeah, I, I rose my saber up into the sky and brought it down and it blew out one of the transformers when the sparks flew up. <laughs> yeah, needless to say, it caused a teeny little problem. It's a wee <laughs> problem. Hey, could one of you guys let me know where we are? I accidentally paused and unpaused and I'm not sure how much farther I had to go. 1133, 1135, 1136, 1137, 38. Oh 39, my gosh. 40, I'm like 41. one second behind and I can't fix it. Well, he is 10 minutes ahead. Carrie is six years ahead. Time. Okay, I should probably be pretty on point. Carrie is only a second behind. behind. That's harmless. Carrie is 50 years ahead. <laughs> Carrie is two rent payments behind. Where's the money? Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Give he's he's kind of knocking my shit in because he keeps doing that one attack. <laughs> he's spamming. He's a spam. That and the other one I have trouble with is the yellow Sigma Head's uh, electricity attack. The sp Bark, yeah. Just cause like they're not too, they're not impossible to dodge, but I often get hit by one of them. He's doing Storm Eagle tech. Yeah, he you off. Sigma. Like say this guy here. Yeah. Luckily, I never go into this fight without both of my sub tanks full. Intelligent man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, zero. Nice key eyes, my guy. Ooh. Me when, uh, me when I, uh, somebody tells me somebody said something about me. Ooh. Yep. I like a representation of your ear enlarging in the direction that the person's talking about you. <laughs> it detaches from my head, too. <laughs> like to get over and really hear who's talking that shit. Who's talking that mad ish? Mm -hmm. Who's talking that illest noise? Get it, Illinois? The illest noise. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. He used the wind attack. Don't quote me on this. I think there is actually a rapper from Illinois called Illest Noise. Illest Noise. Yeah. <laughs> that can't be. That can't be his birth name. <laughs> no. Pro no. It's just it, you know, it's just a rap name. Kansas. Charge him. Russian. That's Fuck it, Goku! Yeah, Send him back to Arkansas! It's pronounced Arkansas, you idiot! <laughs> Time to hit you with my TH ball. And yes, the TH does stand for trucker hat. <laughs> Android 13. They really made him like that in the dub. Yeah. Oh, hey, I beat him. <laughs> Don't you lecture me with your $30 haircut. Goku dies. He <laughs> he What's so funny? This weapon is aimed at Earth. No one can stop it. No! <laughs> Goodbye, Zero. Hi, ma'am. I like how he brought back the gunner form just to say that to him. Yeah. Anyway, kaboom, baby. But uh, Boom, we need to do baby. something about that a weapon, because uh, that thing is still going to fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, is this the space station weapon thing? Yes. Yep. This is the final weapon. The, oh yeah, the final weapon. Oh, it's General. That's General. Name. General. Zero. I was <laughs> wrong. Sigma. He blinded me to the truth. Didn't use the Maverick virus. No. 
It's okay. Rest. With my body, I can stop the weapon. But you then you'll... The weapon. It's over for this soldier. Farewell. Uh, General! died in this game. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, the Japanese version also makes a comment about how he's let too many people die due to his, uh... Due to his careless actions, and this is his atonement. Yes. Wow. There it is, the final weapon. And Big yeah, flower. needless to say, um... X and Zero really are the only people who got out of this, okay? Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Oh fuck, he's pointing a stick at me. <laughs> oh, some mic peek in there. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's, oh, hello. Beep, 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 beep. This is Maverick Hunter headquarters. This is very yeah. 90s anime. It's good to see you're safe, X. I was really worried about you. Sorry about is that, that a southern Don't accent? Worry. No. It's all no. over. You no, it's not okay. <laughs> Go home and rest. <laughs> what? What if I become one of the Mavericks? I still can't get over the casting for X. How they use the same voice as Mega Man. Wait, Zero! I'm I'm serious. Zero, if if I become a Maverick, you have to take care of me. Does Don't that mean kill him? Ridiculous. Yes. Now hurry on back. Promise me. He said, Zero. "Nice problem. Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> I know you're having an existential crisis, but you know what? Nah. You know, fun fact, according to uh, X's voice actor, Ruth Shiraishi, since they were recorded at the same time, she didn't know that Mega Man and X were different characters. <laughs> ah, but you know, don't blame her for that mistake. Gee, I wonder who that Mega guy Man was. is, in fact, in the name. <laughs> so, this is what happened to me. This is my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all. Yeah, Zero was a mess right now. <laughs> the worst voice acting, too. Iris! 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 <laughs> Sounds like he's trying to be upset about something, but doesn't want to wake people up in the room next to him. Yep. Mavericks after all. Maybe we were the Mavericks all along. <laughs> The Reploids was Maverick all along. <laughs> the, the... All right, all right. So anyone, so we'll do final thoughts, and then people can listen to one more chance, which is honestly a banger of an ending theme. But I think actually the localized ending theme they use here too is actually pretty nice. Well, too. one more chance is actually carried by its lyrics, which are in Japanese, but it's yeah. like it's a lot more tragic than it sounds. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, me. You. Me when, me when I review. No, you, you when you final thought. It, sh shirtless. Okay. Um, soundtrack. There's great tracks and there's boring tracks. That's the way it is. Um, but luckily there's a lot more great tracks. Like Evan said, this game is fucking gorgeous and it makes me uh, ejaculate everywhere. Um, this. Uh, I'm glad the, I'm not the, there. The sound want to, I think. Um, like you know. The foley, the sound effects, you know, the slashing feels com you know, the slashing feels good, you know, it feels good to blow things up, you know. When you see like a you know, a Maverick use a cool attack, you know, you hear like a, you know, like Web Spider's electric sound design I think is really cool. Um, when you hit Cyber Peacock with the soul body, the little like staticky noise he makes is really cool. Um, so sound design in this game is amazing too. The FMV cutscenes, while local, you know, the voice acting is bad, you know, uh, you know, a lot of it's really pretty, like very well animated. Like the fight choreography, you know, in the in the Sigma Zero fight's really good. And even though it's like super lame and dumb, I still think the the Sigma Zero <laughs> FMV or AM animated thing uh, was pretty cool. Um, um, just wanted to chime in real quick. If you uh, were wondering who animated it, it was um, Zebek. Oh, that's cool. I don't know that. Yeah. Um. I think the characters in this game are like they're introduced and then just die, which sucks. Like Colonel, cool, dies. Uh, General is like okay, dies. Uh, double is like you know a very niche, you know like oh he's double agent, get it, dies. Um, but you know they serve their purpose right. Like Evan said, this game is very much more zero leaning. 
that it is X-leaning, even though it's Mega Man X4. And um, it's hinting at future things to come as well. <laughs> yes, it is, which will, you know, tie into uh, some of the <laughs> upcoming games. Um, and uh, the stage design is, for some, is good. Like, Cyber Peacock, I think, is like, eh. You know, uh, the um, Slash Beast is like, eh. But, you know, a lot of them are really cool. You know, Frost Walrus is great. Magma Dragoons is fun. Uh, Split Mushrooms is fun. All in all, I uh, I think this is a good game. I think everyone just clowns it because of the you know voice acting, but you know underneath the the poor localization is actually a very solid entry in the series. Um, one of the definitely lore, you know, big uh, it's got big lore in it, and for that, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Um, what do I have to say about this? I think the visuals were very beautiful from the, you know, the backgrounds, foregrounds, and even the character designs and the, the way that the sprites moved, like Evan was pointing out at the beginning. I agree. It's really nice. And there were some good songs, too. The cutscenes were neat to um, develop plot and character interactions, which, as you all know, is one of my favorite things of games. Although it would have been so much better with better quality voice acting. So Evan sent me a video of one of the scenes redubbed, and it was so much better with good voice acting. I Yeah, I feel also, like I could have... Huh? He also redubbed the scene where Iris died, and I can send that to you as well. I, I think you might have shown me at one point, but I would definitely like to see it again, because I have a feeling that would pull on my heartstrings a little bit more than it did in the uh, actual one. Um, it's too bad that Evan needed to clarify some of the important explanations and, and plot-related things, since, you know, it wasn't stated in the game due to the localization, such as um, Zero and Iris dating. I feel like that would have been really important to know, but clearly the localization people didn't think that. Um, I liked seeing more of Zero and learning more about him, it's just too bad his voice acting was so awful. And the moral gray area about defining Maverick as something other than simply infected with the Maverick virus was interesting because you could kind of, you could use that to your advantage in pretty nefarious ways if you wanted to. Um, so many people died. I think I caught some of the foreshadowing. It was a wild ride, but still a pretty good game. Eight out of 10 also. All right, all right. Now, before I do my final thoughts, I just want to read off, at least from the Japanese script, uh, this epilogue text happens after the credits. There's two of them. It says, um, there's two of them, depending on what character you're playing as. I mean, for X, it says, The battle has finally come to an end. However, an inky uncertainty beyond compare fills X's heart. What exactly is a Maverick? Could he become one himself? This foreboding omen may, be, may someday become reality in one way or another. And for Zero, it says, The battle has finally come to an end. However, painful memories give birth to doubt in Zero's heart. His identity as a hunter, sworn to fight Mavericks, his true self burdened by fate to defeat him. These stories may as well be led to by two different people. And for both of the characters, it's, and it finishes with, the two hunters are led closer and closer to a deadly clash of ideals. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, uh, so my final thoughts of the game. <laughs> I fucking love this game. Like much like X1, as I said in the X1 commentary, I kind of like jump between that one and this one for which one's my favorite. Like. One day I love X1, one day I love X4. I love both of them a lot. Um, first off, presentation, cutscenes, sound design, all that is just mwah. Just perfection. As I said, it's probably like, Mega Man X4 is one of my favorites. Like, is probably has some of the best visuals of any 2D game in my personal, it's my personal favorite in that regard. Love looking at it. Love the bright colors, the, uh, the uh, sharply designed sprites, the really good animations all that stuff um and level design is very solid too uh except for jet sitting race stage and also cyber peacock um though i like i really have to give it points because it's really one of only like two x games where the level design accommodates zero's play style well um it allows me to be reckless with and while i do get hurt sometimes i'm still able to have fun with it because i'm slashing everything in my fucking path zero is so much fun to play as in this game and x like you know i don't play as him a lot just because his story is just kind of like whatever it just kind of happens but uh his armor upgrades are fucking ridiculous they're the best in the series by far i just i love 
the, the weapons are a bit on the weak side, but the fact that I have infinite ammo for them uh, makes me not give so much of a shit. I just, I love this game. Oh, and yeah, the story? The story. Um, On the surface, it kind of sucks, but like when you get into that deeper stuff that you have to look up to get into, which I don't exactly like, it's like, I really love the idea of the morally gray thing, and I do love that they started planting the seeds for the most important aspects of the ongoing narrative to the X series. Carrie mentioned that she caught some of the foreshadowing, possibly. I hope so. <laughs> and, uh, well, needless to say, uh, she will know everything by the end of Mega Man X5. <laughs> um, although some of it, it doesn't flat out say deliberately because it, like, kind of wants to, like, do that thing where, like, it all but, like, where it's like the only thing that is keeping you from being confirmed out loud is that it just won't say it flat out. But it's like it expects you to know this on your own anyway. Like it expects you to be able to figure it out without much trouble. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of, um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I give this game a 10 out of 10. I love it. Ooh. Second 10 out of 10 this marathon. Wow. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> Man, and the fact that you gave it, despite its weird localization and its poor voice acting, is really impressive. Because I definitely would have rated it higher if it weren't for those two specific things. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, next time on Smash Team Games... Um, next time on Smash Team Games... It, uh, we're we're uh, bracing ourselves for what was supposed to be the big finale at one point. Um, supposed to be. Get, like, uh, hope you guys are uh, clenching your butt cheeks for Mega Man X5 for the PlayStation. <laughs> Until then, this is Smash Team Games signing off. Bye-bye.